Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video here, we'll be working on a Ford Focus, guys. And if you have a code, guys, such as P0013, stay with us and we'll explain what needs to be fixed, guys, to get rid of that code and fix your car on your own. Now, quick introduction to the channel, guys. Every car we get at the shop, we'll have at least 200 videos. And we'll have more than 200 videos on Ford Focus third generation year from 2012 to year 2018, 19, guys. So, Please guys, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, we do all that so we can save you money. All the tools and parts that we use, including the scanner guys, you can find listed in the description of the video below guys. You can find the links, so if you need to get something, okay, you can find it yourself. So this is it guys, this is the scanner that we'll be using, this is the Ford Focus, and let me show you what we'll be doing now. Okay, right here now, we're going to guys, Plug the OBD scanner okay next uh, in the OBD port next to the steering wheel it's under that cover plug it in when your scanner lights up you're ready to go now I'll go inside the vehicle okay let me just close the door so it doesn't beep so annoying okay and let me start the car for you first and explain what could be the symptoms what are the signs of that and what to expect so Engine's running guys, check it out. Engine lights on. Okay, doesn't turn off. You may guys experience, okay, hesitation. You may experience rough idle. You may uh, experience loss of power, increased fuel consumption as well. So quite a few things guys, okay, that you, you may experience when you have that cold. So I'll turn the car off, turn the ignition on only. Okay, and here guys, we're going to click enter to get under the OBD settings. It's connecting, communicating with the car computer now. It will be any minute. Here it says code file one. And now it will give you two different modules, two different control modules, two different computers. Check each one of them. Ours, the code is under the second one. Okay, let me clean the screen for you a little bit. I'm going to click read codes now. Okay, enter. Check stored and pending codes, both of them. Why? Because guys, you may have a pending code means that it didn't trigger the engine light yet, but it may be there and it's about to uh, be stored in the computer. So, our says B camshaft position actuator, okay, or solenoid, no, also known as solenoid. That's the only code we have. And if I go to pending, it will be the only code. It says one out of one, that's it. So I'll turn the car off and show you what we need to fix to take care of that now. So we opened the hood of the Ford Focus, guys. This is the 2.0 engine, but if you have a 1.0, 1.6, different engines, guys, in Europe, 1.5, the procedure will be very similar as well. We will explain what to look for. Now this is your engine guys, yours may look different. What we need to guys understand now, you need to understand where your intake manifold is, where your exhaust manifold is located. Exhaust is where the, uh, your, you know, your catalytic converter and exhaust is. Intake is where the car gets air. So the air guys goes from the air filter box through the intake boot, okay, throttle body intake right here. Now if you have the 1.0, I think it will be reversed engine, the intake will be on the back side, but we'll explain what to look for. Why we need to know that? Because we need to figure out which uh, camshaft is uh, intake, which is exhaust. In our case, this is the exhaust camshaft here, this is the intake. Because you have two solenoids, guys, okay, two uh, camshaft actuators, solenoids, right here. And this is the one, okay, right there, guys, this is for the camshaft. Uh, on the exhaust side known as uh, solenoid B this is solenoid A this is on the intake side we have problem with that guy so what you need to do now guys okay you unhook the wiring harness uh, if you need to buy one we'll have the link in the description of the video below you can see where we got ours from but for removing and replacing guys you have to remove your ignition coils remove the valve cover so you can remove that solenoid because it has one bolt on the inside. We have the video from start to finish how to do that on the channel. So guys, please check it out. It's there for your convenience. We'll go ahead, replace ours and see if it's going to take care of the problem. That's the purpose of the video today. To see if that solenoid will take care of the problem now. So I'm going inside now and 
we're going to make sure that when we reset the engine light it's not going to come back so what we're going to do okay let me turn the ignition on i'll recommend to reconnect your computer guys okay when you do that because if it's set for a while it may forget the communication and make sure that everything everything is right so once it communicates it's going to give us that information that we have one code again so what we'll need to do click ok and now we're going to go to the second module remember right there and next we're going to go guys through erase codes click there and yes erase done we'll turn it off let's restart the car rev it up a little bit nothing guys so that definitely fixes the problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time